bitch, I'm jiffy. Fuck around, drop a movie on nigga like bitch. If it weren't with a boot up, I would've start hit. If Debo choked me out, bitch, I would've killed the bitch. Alright guys, so the new merch will be available next Friday, September 18th at 7 p.m. Three new shirts, but even though I made more this time than I did for the first drop, they're still probably gonna go super fast. It's a very limited quantity. So if you really want to cop the new merch, make sure you guys set your reminders, be one of the first ones on the website, because once these are gone, they're gone for good, probably never gonna be sold again. So do not forget, next Friday, September 18th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's move on with the video. So as you guys know, Active Ride Shop went out of business earlier this year in January. I lost my sponsor, I lost my job. But they recently announced their reopening in two locations, Temecula and Rancho Cucamonga, and they're also just online. But I told myself when they announced this that I wasn't gonna be supporting them just because of how they fucked over all the employees and the managers. But honestly, I don't really care anymore. We're gonna head there right now and see if anything looks different. I haven't been inside of an active in like what, like eight months? I don't know what I expected it to look like, but it looks the same. I feel like I'm like getting back with my ex-girlfriend. Do you think I still get my discount? Are you guys hiring? Just to be clear, I do still ride for the Project Skate Shop out in Anaheim. I'm gonna give the homie Edder a call. He's the one who runs the shop and I'm gonna pretend like I'm leaving the team back to active. What's good, brother? I wanted to talk to you about something. What's good? Did you know they opened active back up? Yeah. I stopped by the Rancho one today and yeah. they recognized me and I guess they're doing things different now. They want to like, they're like paying their team riders and they offered me a spot. Oh, they did? Yeah, bro. They, they hooked me up with some gear. For sure, for sure. I just, That's dope. hell yeah. I still fuck with projects, but I don't know how you would think of me going to active. I mean, dude, it's your decision, you know, like I'm going to respect your decisions no matter what, brother. You know, like I'm not going to be like a hater or anything. You get me? Whatever's best for you, bro. You get me? Like I would be on the same tip too. You get me? Like I'd probably do the same thing, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just fucking around, bro. I'm just messing around. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we actually we stopped by active, but I'm not gonna ride for them, bro. Projects all day, dog. Damn, dude. Hey, I wanted to see what you would say, but respect any of your decisions. Yeah, bro. I knew you would fuck with it. I knew you'd be supportive. <laughs> So that edit that you guys just saw, the song that was in the background, that was this guy's song. He makes music and he has his own YouTube channel. So we're going to be doing a giveaway over on his channel. He bought a couple boards for you guys. All you guys have to do to enter is head over to his YouTube channel. It'll be at the top of the description. And on his newest video, he just uploaded a new song. Comment your Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And when he gets to 500 subscribers, then we're going to be picking the winners. First place and second place both get boards. And third place gets one of his Piotto shirts. So if you want a chance to win a brand new board, head over to his YouTube channel, subscribe to him, and check out his newest song. Fuck, it's so hot. Hold up. God damn it. It's like a hundred degrees in this car. Oh my god, bro. This shit's almost as fire as his music, bro. Go check that shit out. And if this video gets 15,000 likes, I'll hop on a song with him. The first one was just the, the lemonade and the doggy style fries. It's called animal fries. It's not doggy style? No. Oh. What is it called? Animal style. Oh, it's anal style. Yeah, we just kind of like just say okay when people order it like that. People do that often? Often. The doggy fries don't have onion, right? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I've been doing this thing on TikTok where I skate over this picture of David Dobrik every single day. And today I had the bright idea of skating over my car for that video. The only problem is it's going to get dark in like an hour, so I'm kind of in a hurry, but let's see if I can fucking do it. So this is the loading dock. I have to somehow get that dumpster out of the way and then back my car in and then start skating it. But there's security here, so I don't know how long I'm going to have. I'm going to have to climb out this door because I'm going to park this way. What if I can't open my trunk? Hey, tell me why that was easier than actually backing my car into the spot. <laughs>
So I've been seeing this trend going around on TikTok where you go up to somebody while you're wearing a mask and you say some pretty offensive shit. And then when they're sitting there just really confused and they ask you to repeat yourself, you pull down your mask and you say something completely different, making them think that they misunderstood you. Excuse me, miss. Can I get some hate? Some what? I said, do you know where the bread is at? I just think that shit's so funny, so I'm gonna go try it on some people and see what happens. Oh, uh, excuse me? Are you from around here? Yeah. Uh, do you wanna lick my balls? Yeah. Do you know how to get to the mall? To the mall? Um, yeah, it's that way. Do you know where I could get my ass eaten out? Get what again? Do you know where the nearest gas station's at? Uh, it's on this side of the roadway, though. You can't get to it. You're gonna have to go Probably down. like U-turn. That yeah. seems like a lot of work to get my ass eaten. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I tried doing one of them to a gangster ass looking guy and he got so mad. Do you know where I could get my ass eaten out? What? Do you know where the nearest gas station's at? Imagine getting like fucking stabbed because you asked someone where you can get your ass eaten out. Holy shit, it finally came. Oh my god, this thing's fucking beautiful. This thing right here is to anybody who ever doubted me. My teachers, my ex-girlfriend, my parents. Anybody who ever told me that I would never succeed and get a YouTube play button. This right here goes out to all the haters on my videos and anybody who's ever left a dislike on one of them. What the fuck is he talking about? Yo, what's up? Dude, what the fuck is up with that new video? You gotta delete that shit ASAP. Delete it? What the fuck? I got my 100k plaque. You should be happy for me. I mean, of course I'm happy for you, but you sound like a dumbass in that video. What do you mean? Bro, you're just another hater like everyone else. I knew it all along. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Bro, you do not have haters. I don't know who you're trying to prove wrong, but you sound ridiculous. Nobody ever told you that you wouldn't be successful, and they sure as hell didn't tell you that you wouldn't get a silver play button. Wait, so what you're saying is that this whole time... I never had haters? Then why do I get so many hate comments and dislikes? That's probably because you asked a Walmart employee if they sell big booty hoes and then asked a Wendy's employee if he likes Wendy's nuts slap you in the face. Damn. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm always right. And why are you acting like your parents didn't support you? You should be thanking them for helping you get here. They supported you from the start just like everybody else. Damn, Josh. I mean, now that you mention it, I guess I have been really caught up in all this negativity that I just created in my head instead of focusing on what really matters, the ones who believed in me. Bro, who the fuck is Josh? So I made that stupid ass skit like a month ago when I finally got my silver play button in the mail. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the background of my videos. I posted a picture on Instagram. But I never actually told you guys thank you in a video. This is something that I've literally wanted since I was like 12 years old and now I have it. I would not have this right now if it wasn't for all of you guys that watch my videos. So thank you so much. I could honestly probably go on for like 10 minutes about how much I appreciate you guys. But I don't want to drag on the video so I'm going to just cut myself short. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do not forget that the Late Club merch is dropping next Friday, September 18th at 7pm. So I will see you guys in one week. You can drip or get drown on me. Man and Draco, I just put. What? I just get it. <laughs> Why the fuck is that so funny?